How you doing, everybody? Wild and furious here. <laughs> so, the red wave didn't happen at all. Now, this kind of proof proves two things, in my opinion. For one, we as a nation are doomed because people are freaking stupid. And two, election fraud has to be real. Uh, and it's funny that uh, all these swing states where, where GOP didn't pick up anything are the same states that all the all the BS was happening in the 2020. And it's the same states that don't really have a strong election security laws. You know, you don't have to show the voter ID, you don't have to do this, mail-in ballots, absentee ballots, all the other bullshit, you know. New York's no better. I mean, Lee Zeldin did his best, and he actually came pretty close, but I called it from the beginning. I knew the, the Hochul's gonna win because all she's gonna do is win the city and probably two or three other counties. If you look at the election map of the New York State, it looked like election map of the United States. <laughs> Mostly red, handful of blues, yet a handful of blues decided the fate of the state. And nothing for nothing, in this state, you don't have to show ID to vote, and and I'm pretty sure that's me not even being a genius can figure out a way to cheat. But then again, why Republicans don't do that? That's beyond me. And people, after two and a half years of bullshit, mandates, lockdowns, uh, 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 masks, mandatory jabs, and God knows what else, still vote for the same people that, that did that to them. It's just beyond me. It's just beyond me. I, 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 I don't understand. But then again, the same fucking people are still driving around by themselves with a mask on. So, goes to show you. I, I'm, I'm genuinely afraid uh, for the future of this country and my kids. Because, on the one hand, you got a fucking idiot like that David Hawk, the, the, the Parkland shooting survivor, being all vocal. Kids are dumb as a box of rocks, couldn't get into any fucking school, but yet he goes all over, calls them Generation Z. You know, I guess Generation Z stands for fucking zombies because that's all they do. They fucking glue to their phones like a goddamn zombies. And this is the generation that's gonna decide the future of the fucking country? Are you fucking for real? But then again, I guess our generation failed as a parent, you know? I mean, I have a kid, same age as, as him, the Generation Z, and my son, I, you know, we, I'm not saying he's all, all right, conservative, uh, we have a conversations quite a bit, but he actually has a valid point on some things, you know? My daughter, on the other hand, I'll be turning 18 next year, senior in high school, uh, although my local school are not that bad, She's kind of influenced by all the fucking leftist agenda bullshit and transgender and, and all that crap ar around. Although she she simmered down the last two years, ever since, year and a half, ever since she's got a job. Ever since she sees that it costs her 60 bucks to fill up uh, her car when it, it used to be 30. When she sees all the freaking taxes, she gets uh, taken out of the minimal, uh, minimum wage job. So that definitely helps. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. See you in the next one.